energy to float up the spine to the crown chakra and then back down. A cooling breath coming down the front of the body, relaxing the body. A heating breath moving up the back, energizing the whole system. In the meanwhile, the physical body is moving gently like a tree blowing in the wind. The leaves are rustling, but yet the tree stands stable, strong, grounded, and rooted as the leaves blow in the wind, releasing the energy, energizing the body, focusing the mind, enhancing the organs. The lungs are becoming stronger. The heart and the blood is flowing smoother. The liver is detoxing and unraveling any anger. The spleen and the stomach are starting to free itself of any worry, any digestive problems, any blockages. The kidneys are releasing all fears and bringing in gentleness. The kidneys are keeping the body strong, building the water element, allowing the body to move smoothly and yet strong and powerful with strong willpower. The lungs are letting go of sadness and grief and bringing in fresh oxygen. And with the fresh oxygen, it's bringing in valor and courageousness moving strong, forward, and solid, accomplishing your goals. Your body is like soft cotton on the outside, and yet the bones are strong like steel. The movements are gentle and yet powerful. There is no tension in the body. Again, take in a deep breath. Let going of all the tensions in the body as you release the breath, relaxing at a much deeper level, relaxing the feet, the hands, the tendons, The muscles are relaxing. The joints are relaxing. Go in deeper. Start to relax the nervous system. Go in on a deeper level, relaxing even the muscles, the tendons, the sinews, relaxing the bone. Bring your attention deep into the bone, the bone marrow. Feeling more blood flow in the bone marrow, strengthening the bones. Strengthening the muscles. Strengthening the fascial tissue, allowing the energy to move out into your skin, making your skin softer, more collagen, more elasticity, 
beautiful soft skin releasing all the tensions in your face relaxing your eyes relaxing your eyebrows relaxing your nose your cheeks allow your ears to relax your mouth now allow the tongue to relax let your throat relax allowing the energy to open in every pore of your body now imagine another body your second body above your head relaxing the energy in all the chakras all the meridians letting the second body totally relax and move as the wind moves allow your body to move no tension taking a deep breath pulling the energy down the front of your physical body and up your back breathe into the energetic body bringing the breath down the front and up the back now bring your attention to the top of the head of the energy body bring it down the energy body down the physical body and then up the back of the physical body up the back of your energy body up into the third body your spiritual body opening the chakras the meridians the energy fields bringing the attention to your head of the third body as you bring a cooling breath down the third body down the front of the body all the way down to the energy body allow the hands to float down as they float down your eyes are open relaxing the body bringing the hands back to the lower tantian and then placing your hands over the navel Hi, it's Dr. Wu, and I want to talk to you about a really important subject. When we do a practice, either if it's yoga, qigong, tai chi, we create a lot of energy. That's the idea of the practice. We want to move all of the energy in all the meridians, open the chakras, and get things running smoothly. Here, this is the meridian man. The meridian man, he has, this is, it depicts all the different meridians. The lungs, the large intestines, the stomach meridian, the spleen, the heart, small intestines, the bladder, the kidneys, pericardium, triple heater, gallbladder, liver, central and government. Now, what we want to do when we're doing our exercise, our practice, we want to get all the energy in those meridians moving. Why? We can eliminate the stagnation. So we don't want to get stagnant blood, we don't want stagnant energy, we don't want stagnant anything. We want the energy to move. So we work on our qigong, our tai chi, our yoga, our different practices to open up, our meditations to open up. Now, here's what happens. After you do your practice, you want to store that energy, you want to bring all that energy down to the lower tantian, like a big ball right below the navel point. It's a, they say sometimes, they'll say it's a cauldron where you're going to store the energy in the cauldron. So you move the energy down and you store it in the cauldron. Okay. Once you store that energy in the cauldron and you keep building it, eventually you have a power, a power
power source, a power battery, an energy there that you can use anytime you want. Now, I've noticed this. If you're doing your practice, if you're doing a workout, if you're doing anything that involves your physical, when you're through doing the practice, you want to be able to relax, take all that energy, like a, like a piece of coal. You want to compress it into a diamond and you want to store it in the lower tantien. Once the energy is stored there, then the easiest thing to do and the most effective thing to do is relax into that energy. When we're doing the automatic move, we've pulled in everything, we've cultivated, we've stored, and we brought it all into the lower tantien. And now you relax. All the energy is stored there, you move it in the microcosmic orbit around the crotch up to C7. Sometimes they call this the big hammer. It's a vertebrae that's right here, right in the very back, you feel that big vertebrae. Then from the energy from there, it splits and it moves into both of your hands. Once the energy is in both of your hands, you're moving it from a yin position into the yang, ready for movement. Very gently, you lift this energy up like you're lifting a ball of energy and pouring it right into the top of your head. As the hands float down, I'll take off these spectacles. As the hands float down, when you get to your eyes, you close the eyes, let your hands float down to the lower tantien, and then let the energy take over. You'll start to move, things will happen, whoa! It'll feel like you're out of control. That's just what you want. You want no control. You want to open up and let that energy heal you and move your body around. Keep practicing this. If you practice it daily, you'll have that chi moving through and you'll dissipate any form of dis-ease. It's Dr. Wu. Keep on practicing.